Okay, by example, audio effects in Godot. Here's a game where you're walking around in a dungeon and the game has some footstep sounds. And when you get closer to the skeleton, you hear fire sounds. I think the sounds are actually pretty decent, but something is missing. We're in a dungeon, we're in a crypt, you know? There needs to be more ambience to it, right? So what if we did something like this? Let's stop our game. Let's go to the audio tab. Then we go to our channels and we say add effect. And look, we have all these cool effects we can apply. So we're in a dungeon, so I wanna apply some reverb. So let's play with the knobs here, room size. Let's put the wetness, which is just the amount all the way up and let's rerun it. Now with the reverb. So now the ambience is much richer. All the sounds, because of the reverb, are all blending together. I think it sounds great. And here's another example to show how we can play with the audio effects through code. So when I click on my journal, all the sound effects become muffled. We pull all the high frequencies off. So how does that work? Well, I added a new effect, an EQ, and then you can see it's just an equalizer like you'd have in your stereo. And then grab the audio server, Singleton. I say, get me the bus effect for the sound channel, which is what I just named it down here. And the audio effects are by index. So reverb is zero, equalizer is one. So I'm passing in one. And then I'm just saying set the channel uh, three, four, and five, which correspond to these guys over here to be zero when we open the journal and then back to one when we close the journal using the linear to dB, uh, dB being decibels, really cool helper function. So that's playing with the effects in code. Okay, and here's another effect. We're gonna get a spectrum and then we're gonna say get magnitude for frequency from zero to a hundred Hertz. And then we're gonna scale some stuff, okay? And then we're gonna get the magnitude for frequency range 10,000 to 12,000 Hertz and scale some other stuff. Okay, let's see what this does. Okay, I've made a visualizer using Godot. So you can see that the big circles here, the cones, they're jumping out on the low frequencies of the song that's playing right now. And then these little things up here are going on the treble on the high frequencies. And the whole image is just scaling by the general sound. So that's another cool thing you could do. Maybe for a rhythm game, you could do something like this. So that is audio effects in Godot. They are so easy to use and they are really, really powerful and you can do all sorts of stuff with them. Um, I hope this gives you ideas and uh, you can use it in your own games. Um, I'm gonna let this play because it's awesome. Yeah, audio effects, go use them.